Hello, my friends. I hope you guys are ready for another great devotional because that's what I have for us today. We're gonna take our Bibles and we're gonna open them up to Luke 1 so that we can read six and seven together. As always, this is a perfect time to press pause and grab your Bible, if you have it right there, to look it up uh, to Luke 1, 6 and 7. But if you don't have your Bible handy and you're really in a place in your day where it's just easiest to listen to me read it, I'm going to do that for us right now. So again, Luke 1, 6 and 7 says this, Zachariah and Elizabeth were both righteous before God, walking blamelessly in all the commandments and statutes of the Lord but they had no child because Elizabeth was barren and both were advanced in years. The title of today's devotion is Why? You know, I feel for Zachariah and Elizabeth, two faithful people who loved God and served him with all their hearts. And yet they had no children, though they wanted them very much. No doubt their neighbors had a lot to say about this, you must have sinned, they said. God is punishing you. As if this family didn't have enough grief to carry already. But this was not a punishment from God. The Bible shows us that God doesn't play mind games. Oh, praise the Lord. When he disciplines people, he makes the connection between the sin and the result very clear. Again, praise God. Friends, we know that the fact is that we live in a broken world and bad things happen, even to all of us, the people who God loves. And we may go for years, even a lifetime, with no explanation for why God allowed it. You too may be suffering and wondering why. If so, put your trust in the God who saw and loved these two, and you as well. He may not explain himself, but he sees you and he cares for you so much. So much, in fact, that he came into this unfair, broken world to take your suffering upon himself, to mend you and all creation with his own blood on the cross. And when he rose from the dead, he gave us the sure and certain hope that someday he will put things right. Let's pray. Dear Lord, help us to trust you as we wait for the day when you make all things new. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Oh, isn't that comforting, friends? That truth of the gospel is so powerful. We live the law, right? The law side of things. We live in a sinful, broken world. We live knowing that we fall short of the glory of God. And when that gospel comes in, oh boy, isn't it sweet? It's the very best. Now, here are three things that we're going to reflect on and discuss with those around us um, after the video ends, okay? So the first one is this. Why do people blame others for their own troubles? Hmm. There's a lot of different answers for that, isn't there? And now the second question is this. When have you asked God why about some evil? Hmm. For some of us, it might not be that long ago. And now the third and final question. How has Jesus helped you carry a heavy burden in your life? Mm. Yeah, I could answer that really easily and really quickly. I love you so much, my friends, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye.